What is up? Here we go. Hello, hello. Hello. Nice hello. fucking arriving in a goddamn car. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Fuck today. I'm terribly sorry. Any of yours fine? Well, Kira back there got fucking put, got dropped. Riley over here got fucking clocked in the shoulder. Yep. Hey, we'll tell you what. After this meeting's over, you can head over back to my room. I got some pain pills I can hand to y'all. Perfect. Free charge. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You gotta take care of your own. Thank you. How's everyone? We're all We're good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started on this. Sorry for all keeping you. Alrighty. All well, the presidents are here, so let's go inside and set this council meeting going. Oh, all y'all, uh, welcome to integrate, do all that nonsense, talk amongst yourselves, discuss business. That's what we're all here for. Okay? That's right. Look, you get to know each other. We're all supposed to be friends here. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Logan, give me the heater. All right, I'll be back. And uh, I'm, I'm making you point, man, because I'm... Um... Ladies, appreciate it, buddy. Ooh, boy. Gravity is like the most glam thing ever. Appreciate man. it. Yeah, yeah. Don't, Don't worry, they'll get intimidated soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all, okay. all presidents. Hand over your guns to your sergeant at arms. Wherever you mine. got. Yeah, mine's got my gun. I left mine in the car. My girl's got mine. Uh, phone's off, boys. And not, boy. You get any ringings on your phone on silent. No calls would be making at this moment. Gravity yep. is like the most far out thing ever, man. So, who wasn't here, uh, was it two days ago when we all met here? Caliber wasn't. Hold for a moment. I wasn't actually present, but my boys no. were. Okay. Only presidents in here, boy. Go. Get. Go on. What are you waiting for me to hold your fucking hand? Is, is uh, Mac not going to be joining you? Uh, Mac's on his way. He's just finishing up an ink session at the moment. All right. Sergeants, you want to bring yourselves over here and let the presidents talk amongst themselves? Charlie, me and you. Just making sure we're not missing anybody, right? All right. <laughs> well, it's good to have you all here for sure. Out, fuck that local. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I expect. Fucking so local. Like... That was some fucking respect. Another one. No, literally, I have fucking three guns on me now. All right, can everybody hear each other? Uh, we could probably speak a bit higher, you know, keep ourselves. Uh... All right. Okay. I can barely hear you, so unless we uh, right, get a little bit closer. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Neat. So we met a couple days ago. I'll be on the same page. If we have any issues, we talk about it before we give bloodshed. Okay. Right? Yep. yep. This is so that we're all on the same page. We're all here to make money, have a living, and hold our territories down, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So the only one I didn't know what territory they controlled was Devil's Disciples. I've only seen you guys around like a handful of times. So, uh, was the Vespucci area? Yeah, it's a Vespucci area. We've been mainly working on just getting our getting our bikes, getting right. everything in place, and then uh, and then worrying about the future. All right, I think that's everybody worrying about that same shit right now. So, and Calibre, you're up north. I haven't met you. I'm sorry. So yeah, nice to meet you. I, nice to meet you all, Shedrick. I'll Shedrick. give you my number afterwards. I already got it. Oh, okay. Well, that works. I'll make sure you have mine now. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need yours. Yep, got it. So, first order of business. Go ahead. Uh, you go ahead. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, if we're all friends here, I don't suppose and see why all of our other underlings can't uh, be friends as well. Want to have a quick discussion about integration. Lovers and all that. We don't want no Romeo and Juliet shit going down, so... I'm letting my terms be known right here, right now. <laughs> my boys and girls are open. If they want one of yours, they'll go for it. All right. Same goes for me. Ta-da. I ain't got no issue with that. See how I worry about this shit. These days. Now, for I don't sure. mean, you know, she's got to be wearing the cut or she's got to be wearing the cut either. It don't matter. I think that means that we just got a tighter relationship because of it. All right. Another thing I'm going to put on the table is, uh, is anybody see it's disrespectful for anybody to be wearing their own cut in their territories. I've seen it happen before. Me personally, you can wear your cut, roll through harmony. I have no issue. I think it's disrespectful to tell somebody that they can't because I'd rather them be identifiable as opposed to not. And if they're going in there and not being identifiable, then that to me, that screams that they're up to shady shit. Uh, I agree with that. Wear your fucking colors. That's what's fucking yeah. why you're fucking here. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're rolling through my uh, my territory, you know, maybe hit me up. Let me know if you're rolling deep. You know, that's mm -hmm. all I'd ever ask from anybody. And if <laughs> I'm rolling deep through your fucking territory, I'd probably let you know first too, unless we're just passing straight through, not even trying to fuck with nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. you won't see me wearing a cut though if I'm in a car. <laughs> Amen. Out, don't put that shit back on though. <laughs> No, for sure. If I'm handling business, I got my cut. But if I'm in a cage, I'm not going to disrespect my cut by getting mm -hmm. in a fucking cage. I'm going to take this thing off in my fucking pocket. We have it no other way. Good shot. Yeah, I think uh, courtesy call is the most important thing. That's that's the only big deal to me. Yeah, I'm down for the courtesy call shit. We all show each other mutual respect. So, uh, I know I had myself a peaceful discussion with the Calibers about this, about the, the embassy. Same with you, Legion. Uh, embassies, the way they work is, you know, some shady shit's going on. Just let us know if it's going down in our turf. You don't have to step in, not unless you want to. Not unless you want to get whatever it is you think you get from us. Brownie points, respect. Hell, I'll pay it for it if you see some motherfuckers around our area. I'll give yep. you cash, whatever you're in the market for, you know? Uh, don't have to work that way. Just, uh, just throwing that down for me. Uh, for the most part, same goes for me. If you're doing any shady shit in my area, let me know. Or let you just let me know that you're going to be doing something in that area as long as there's no heat being brought. That's all that matters to me. Let us know if there's strangers around as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. We'll do the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Both ways, 100%. Got my vote. Mm-hmm. I like exactly. everybody's starting to think the same here. Kevin? It's definitely going to help. Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay. Anybody else got any sayings? Uh, there's one thing I want to bring up, but that's uh, an issue at hand instead of laying down the terms. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, Caliber, I heard that you were just robbing anyone and everyone up north. I know it's your turf and all, but... Robin? Uh, yeah. No. That's, that's the word that was told to me. Who the fuck told you that? Uh, that I can't say. Yeah, that's fair, um, but no, that I've, is... I've heard that shit, too. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's you or if somebody's in your turf making you look bad. kind of feel it's a second. Here. No, that I've definitely been... heard it from somebody. Uh, they were looking at, uh, ask me and, uh, well, what's, who's the tattoo artist in your club? Black Mine? That's yeah. Matt. Mac Richter. Yeah, me and Mac were walking to our fucking apartment, and this fucking idiot walks up, and he's like, yo, I got robbed in Polito. You know which uh, fucking C runs up there? I'm going to fucking... Get him, and I'm like, probably fuck off. wasn't an MC then, dumbass. Must have been yeah, somebody exactly. else. Yeah, exactly. Are you to fucking see your colors? Not. So, I'm just saying, uh, just as a warning, I think there's somebody in your territory. Well, ironically, look bad. the other day, so we're all standing outside the shop up there, right? And this dirt bike goes through, and this motherfucker is wearing the same goddamn denim I am with my fucking patch on the back. We looked for Ooh. that fucker for hours. I don't know how the oh. hell he got it, but it wasn't one of ours. Our blood would be boiling. I you ain't wrong. I'm fucking stupid. Mm, I'll... I'll yeah, if, you, if you ever have a problem like that, I would love to help you fucking murder somebody. I would love like to that. help. That's, that's would love something to we should help, all. So. 
Uh-huh. I'll fucking get in on and not let anybody do that kind of dumb shit. Exactly. If I see someone and I blatantly know, are gonna work, yeah. if I see someone wearing any one of your cuts and I know for a fact that they're not part of it, you have my word that I'll hold them and bring them directly to your door. I will do the same to each and every one of you as well. Likewise. Same. Amen. Fuck all that shit. That's a good way to get fucking dead. I keep a firm belief that we us all 1% here... If you ain't with us, you're against us. Uh huh. Plain and simple. Hmm. Amen to that, then. So. <sighs> I want to settle something else with the loss now that we all have it here. There seems to be some people around the city, especially, that really wants to see us fight. Yeah. Quite frankly, it seems I find that, way. that bullshit. Some crazy motherfucker, and I swear I thought I'm 90% sure I know who this motherfucker is. Watch out for some English boys around. They're tagging up some turfs, saying this or that. Some motherfucker, this guy, tagged up the lost symbol on my fucking front door. When was this? Just yesterday. Fuck that. And the same person apparently has been causing issues where I talked to their VP, uh, Dallas, recently, and he informed me that, uh, Someone was throwing bad on my name and the loss patch itself, saying that we were saying certain things and stuff like that against uh, mm. Black Lotus. And yeah, my word, if I say I have anything to say about anybody, I'll say it directly to your face if we have issues. Hell fucking yeah. That is the only way you it see, can be. And that is why we have this fucking council. So we could squabble this petty bullshit that ever comes in our doorstep. All well, uh, speaking of uh, petty bullshit, I definitely got some petty bullshit. Fucking uh, Devil's Disciples, you guys patched in a guy named Ralph? Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker was my hangaround yesterday. Really? No, he was an old friend from a long time ago. I'm pretty sure he didn't know that we were around. Yeah, I had him doing fucking work yesterday as my hangaround, so to see his patch on your back the next day makes us all a little fucking shaky. No, 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 no. He's a very, Which very old friend. I look too good, you know? Mm-hmm. We're very picky about who we let in. He's a very old friend. Ooh, I guess that's another thing to bring to the table. There's a man that came to my doorstep. He's a good veteran rider, not your typical weekend one. He's been riding for, let's say, 14 years, about an old fella. He came on by to me, asking to be a hang around. You know, I'm not against it. Just do some quick work for us. Go grab some things for us, maybe grab us a beer. Who knows? So he comes around, and I tell him, I have nothing wrong with making you a prospect, but I got to see more of you, okay? I got to know that you are for sure ride or die with this place. And I said, also as well, you should go take a look at the other MCs. It's not, I'm not saying we're overcrowded or nothing. We got ourselves as much as we can handle at the moment. We're good. We're always more welcome to take more if we need. Just means more work. So, that being said, this juice guy, when I told him to go seek out other MCs, he said, nope. Only want to be around yours. I admire the loyalty, but say I don't actually want this man, and I can still vouch for him. Would you have any problem if I direct him to any towards one of you? Not that no. I want to. It's just purely a hypothetical question. I wouldn't have an issue with that. But I'd also I'd yeah. probably call you and ask. Yeah, I'd definitely talk to you about it if I heard he uh, hung out with you. And uh, But yeah, we're willing to give anybody a shot. I mean, if anybody hung out or was part of your MC in general, I'd have a chat with you first. But no matter what, I'd put people through their paces to make sure that I can trust them. Because my course, MC course. isn't just, I don't take anyone, right? I take yeah, I think that's a, that's exactly. a topic, honestly, if this ever happened, it would be brought up in one of these meetings. Oh, I'm sure we all have our different ways in how we recruit and all that. So you do with that with what you will. If I send them over to your doorstep, you test them how you like. But uh, so we're clear, um, Sergeant Shaw is very hurt by what Ralph did personally. So at some point, he's probably going to beat the living hell out of that boy. So you know, don't well, want it to be club business and you know cause any bullshit. I mean, but at some point, <laughs> he's very personally upset. He ain't a prospect without some hazing first. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, he got no. patched straight away. That's why uh, I was hurt. 
Oh, he's been he's been a he's been a disciple before. That's the reason why. And gotcha. he didn't know that we were in town. Well, I mean, would you be opposed as to just letting those two fucking go at it and get let Shaw get his fucking aggression out? Oh, I don't give a shit. They oh, they want to fight. I mean, they're both men. They want to hash it out, hash it out. Cool. As long as we can let that happen without it fucking causing club bullshit, then I'm happy. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Doing drive bys on our clubhouse. That's what I give a shit about. Yeah, no, I ain't going no fucking kid shit. I would much rather us fucking just f- fight it out with fists and settle shit mm-hmm. than fucking have to kill each other, man. Yeah, I agree. That's mm. how I handle my business. Unless it's something on the serious end, I'll hash it out with fists. Yeah, that, that's my style for sure. I would much rather us just fucking fist it out and all everybody walk home. And, that has know, a totally different winner takes meaning all. to me. It's <laughs> 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 funny. The same. Okay, but I next order of business that. is very, very, very important. Because I know we all have some strong principles, some strong beliefs in what we do and what we believe in. And I don't think that should change the way we do things. It's just terms that we go through it to make sure that shit doesn't happen. That being said, I will say this right now. We could have this written down, kind of like, uh, what do they call it? One of them charters, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't want no drugs being pushed around Mirror Park. You do that, you keep that to yourself, okay? You settle around your area, just make sure you're not killing people. That's all I got to say on that. That shit brings the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. The thing that's supposed to separate us from the fucking low-level gangsters is we don't hurt the innocent. Got you. Only hurt those who fucking deserve. I'm with that. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, I make guns. Me and my people were manufacturers. What we make, we'll try and make top prop. Who, who my fucking got? Clear off. Sorry about that. To turn this shit off, anyways. Yeah, not a bad idea. The radio's off along with phones. Already done. Mm-hmm. I didn't pay attention to the damn radio. It's been You're quiet good. anyway. It's an afterthought. Mm hmm. So, <clears throat> as I was saying, we'll try and make you top quality guns if need be. And another thing is, you know, I don't believe marijuana is a proper drug. You know, I believe it helps pain relief. So, I'm not going to be selling it to nobody. It's just for me and my brothers and offering it to all of you. For free or just whatever we work out. A little trade for a trade. Some folks oh, you know how to... No harm in that. You know how to produce weed? I think I may know how. We might have to talk about that later, because I'm definitely interested in producing some fucking weed. Oh, me right. too. I smoke a shit ton of weed, so. Fuck yeah, dude. But I'm just Down saying you that. all know that as well. I'm not going to be pushing out no weed to no other people. Just strictly the MCs if y'all want it. But my boys are going to be using it when they're hurt. There's no pain pills. Pain pill shit just destroys your liver. Oh, weed helps with that. Oh, hell yeah, weed helps with that. What the fuck am I saying? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I want to put something out as well. Mm-hmm. I'm the only woman president amongst the room full of men. I don't want to be treated any fucking different than any one of you. If you got a beef, you fucking call me up. You want to go throw fists? You want to do something stupid? Let's go do it. I'm you don't not treat you no fucking different. different. Good shit. My, yeah. my, my Have you been treated uh, female, differently so. thus far? Not since I've been here. But a lot of good. motherfuckers like Hell to yeah. think that, oh, you know, it's just a girl. Till I fuck him up. Well, mm-hmm. we'll all make sure that you're treated as a fucking equal. Good shit. No worries there. As long as you keep, you know, we all keep our clubs legit, I think we'll all be fucking happy. You'll There's always one more thing I want to bring. You know, I just came to my mind right before I forget. That anybody that puts any type of business on Twitter on yellow pages, like blatantly selling shit that they shouldn't be posting there or putting up there. I don't care if you have a code word or what, but that shit has to stop if you're doing it. <laughs> Let me tell you something real quick, too. <laughs> I barely even know how to work a fucking touchscreen phone myself, all right? Dude, same. <laughs> I got fucked out of that crypto that. stuff because it already oh, blew up shit. before anyone told me about it. And I'm like, what the know. fuck are you even babbling 
the I was already crypto lost. Crypto Bitcoin bullshit. I just know my paper's hand right there, green in front of me. You know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was too busy trying to get my fucking bike to give a fuck about <laughs> anything, man. Yeah, I'm God still damn. working on that fucking plan. Jesus Christ. And, <laughs> and you have my word. If I if I see someone blatantly putting something on Twitter or something like that, so that it can be uh, uh basically followed by the cops, and I know who it is, best believe I'm gonna be breaking their legs. Dude, I'm down for that. Police. If we could all get together and do shit like that, I think we would do the whole city a fucking well, favor. Check this out. So you're talking about a code word, right? So what we what we used to use overseas when I was doing some of this shit, we'd always use the word nomad, and we do it as a tag because it's very, it's very indescript when it's just put, you know, in a Twitter message, an email, a text, whatever, and that just means that you give motherfuckers a call and you rally up. Okay. Do you mean like answering their tweet, putting that hashtag no man, that means we're going to beat their ass? That means there's a very goddamn serious situation that involves the group. I personally wouldn't put anything on Twitter at all. We have our, we have each other's numbers. If yeah, not, all the other ones whatever. that our crew have, have it. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, it just makes it easy and then that lets you know that there's an issue. Or all right, be, if I get fluffy, that from you in a text, I'll know to pay attention. I don't care. Like. <laughs> so, I guess this should also be another one we could... Uh, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. Sorry about that. Okay. An emergency frequency so that we could all communicate when we're all not around. We can just shoot a quick text, you know. If we're not all around, mm -hmm. we can't meet at this round table. If we got shit going on, we can have a quick discussion just over the radio. Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all want to come and dish out a frequency number right now, just so we know? 187. It's not a bad, it's not a bad idea. 187? Easy. Got it. I'm going to go ahead and keep this written down. This is just for us presidents, okay? You can inform uh -huh. the others, but this is just so all of us can talk. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's keep that too close to the chest, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sergeant and up, I'd say. That's fine by me. No, I'm cool. Yeah, you know, Sergeant up. EC Sorry. only. What was that? Uh, EC only, you know. Uh -huh. Most uh, treasurers, your secretaries, your sergeants, your vice presidents, your presidents. That's it. People are trusted. Fine by me. Because I'm not going to always be around. So when I'm not around, my VP and my sergeant are around handling business for me. Same, same for sure. You see Tom or Shaw, they definitely speak for me. Mine do for me as well. I was sorry to miss the first meeting, but I was real happy my boys uh, represented for me. Same here. I'm sorry about missing the first meeting as well. I was getting, uh, had to do some other things. Important yeah, things. ditto. Me too. I don't like to miss this shit. No, I understand. It was kind of uh, quick. Happened very quick. Yeah, kind of like this one, but, you know, I'm glad At I was At least you all celebrated my boy, Del you know, Dallas getting that uh, Brown book, so yeah. I'm kind of happy about that. Pleasure talking to him. Ooh, so, mm, you know, <clears throat> I've already dished out and told you all what I do. I build shit and all that. You don't all have to share, but it'd be nice to know what you make. What any of you do for money and all that. Man, we're honestly in between that shit right now. I'm trying to learn what we can. Fucking I'm trying to make some money. I haven't found any good ways of making that money. That hustle is fucking real. Hunting. Yeah. I, mean, I could help you all that with that right fucking now. Hunting. You're Hunting the good shit. Mm, not exactly in your area. It's more. It's in the Harmony area. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I was thinking there's a really good hunting along the fucking GOH. I, just outside of I, just, I, I see a lot of people that go there hunting. I keep my eye out. I don't, I'm not going to stop someone from making money. No, not at all. Hell no. Everybody needs to uh, eat, right? Uh-huh. I'm Everyone's fucking, uh, honestly, one thing me and uh, Shaw have been doing, we've been going down to the garbage depot, and we've been telling them where the shift leads, and we're collecting union dues. I made <laughs> fucking 600 bucks before I came up there. Oh, so, my Lord. what do you all plan to do when we're all settled? I Let's have my real. ideas, but until it gets there, I can't say, you know, gotta see if I make those connections. Yeah, I'm worried about connections, because, like, we've ran drugs before, we've ran guns before, it's... 
what makes money, you know, without stepping on anybody's toes. Long you know, term. That's, that's why we're talking. You know, you could push guns around in my area. Just make sure we get a percentage or something. Yeah, we're probably going to be uh, pushing guns. Vic, you, you're probably going to start up a lot faster than we will. So you let me know who. Uh... And the market is looking for things. Yes, sir. Yeah, that and also let me know who your customers are. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I we're mean, doing. that'd be a good idea if we could all get together and fucking corner the gun business in general. To be honest with you, I just want to target one of the uh, South Side crews. That's about it. Because and knowing what? them, they're going to be at each other's throats every day, yeah. one of these days. And figured if I could get my hands on one of them, make a deal with one of them, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be all right. I talked to the Vagos the other day and they actually seem pretty legit they they had a lot of our same ideals of not fucking starting shit but finishing <laughs> shit you know Boy, we, had, all right. been like that. we had an altercation with them just a couple nights back with uh, Did you? C, uh rada and a lil t yeah we'll say they said rada's a fucking hothead so that motherfucker might cause well, some we, shit i rolled up in there furious as fuck because they literally shot one of my people over the dumbest fucking crap and put my girl on the deck and I went over there in a big ass truck and I was driving through the lawn trying to stir shit up and all of a sudden that fucking three of them rolled up and they got out and I said put your guns away we're gonna have a fucking conversation and it's gonna leave and it's, we're gonna leave it at that and I let them know a lot of shit and they backed down they apologized and everything's been good since you know, maybe that's why they were so fucking nice to me because they mentioned some shit about that. So that <laughs> you must put the fear of God real, in them. Real, real, real fucking quick. It's me and Shaw rode in there just to talk and shit on our bikes and fucking All yeah, right, they, well, good. The real welcoming mm. and then spoke highly of you. So good shit. That was a good conversation that needed to take place because that shit was gonna get messy real fast. I haven't had a chance to talk to any of the other gangsters down there yet, but. I've been talking to a dude named Dreads um, with the Ballas, so just be advised Herbs. on that. I won't touch the Vagos or the families or any other little clique out in that area, but the Ballas we got a pretty good recognition with. That's another thing to bring up. Gangs. Say we start having ourselves a little showdown going on with the other gangs. We can all agree that we're all not going to get involved unless it's a stranger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would yeah, much be... rather us stay allies. If anything, uh, Honestly, I'm going to fucking shoot them if they're shooting at you in my territory. Exactly. Their beef is their beef. Yep. I'll yep. have all of your fucking backs when it comes push comes to shove just because of what we do together. And our if we can fucking hold each other's thing. backs, the, the shit will just come hand in hand. Uh-huh. The thing is that I'm not going to step in until you ask me for a hand. Yep, yep. Exactly. Yep. That's fair. We'll be respectful of whatever the fuck you want. You want my help? We'll fucking come shoot. You don't, we'll let you do you. Another thing. Mm. How do you guys well, handle your patch members leaving? Depends on how they want to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a thing where uh, our club comes together. We talk about it. We vote, and uh, if we eighty, if they get the eighty-six vote, then they can they can go. They might even be able to come back. But if they get the, the blacklist, then well, they don't come back from that. Well, we have no. church every Sunday. Have ourselves a little discussion at the round table. Same. We see what we do. All right. And uh, if at any point you let someone go and you have issues with them going to another MC, given that the other MC wants to take them in, just know that uh, if it comes to my door, I'll come to you and have that conversation Ta -da. when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very situational. I've had situations where uh, we're going to kill that motherfucker. And I've had situations where we don't like that mm -hmm. motherfucker, but uh, we respect that patch enough to, you know, let them go over there, but we don't like yeah. them. To me, but it's very, patch. very situational. Some motherfuckers need to die. Mm -hmm. And if they're with their patch, that shit's embroidered into their fucking flesh. It ain't worn on a jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad we can all be on the same page with that, because that's some touchy shit. That can cause yeah. wars. That's why I'm bringing it up okay. now. In case it does come up at any point. Because I respect every each and every one of you. Same here. Same here. Unless, Same. unless you lose my trust, you have it. My word is Same. my word. 
ain't no currency that has more meaning than your words. So that's fucking right. It takes a lot to earn, and it's real fucking easy to lose. Yeah, I've been uh, made aware that there's a group currently coming in. There's another MC called Pale Riders, I believe it is. Yeah, I heard about them. I yeah, kind of yeah, we heard them the yesterday. Same. They were almost ridiculous. <laughs> they were uh, doing trash runs and didn't seem <laughs> to have a simple fucking grasp on how any of it worked over and over again. They're the patchless. They got nothing on their cuts right. at all. No, they're uh, they they know they're not recognized. They respect that they don't have enough members right. to be recognized, which is something that we got to talk about too. What makes someone recognized other than having a patch? Because anybody can get something made with some picture on it. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, you got to have this. a patch. It's it looks legit. It's got to be good. It's got to have, you know, the bottom rocker, the top rocker. When you don't learn no triangle bullshit well. unless you fucking earn that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not everybody needs the triangle, you know. No, you're right. You're right. I'm just saying a lot of people will put it on. Yeah, and it, that yeah, it's got a bad stigma because of all those fucking posers, man. Yeah. Fucking, and I'm willing to kill them posers. I hate that shit. So, do numbers make you recognized at this table? Uh, no. I'd say numbers, clubhouse. Hmm. I'd say the clubhouse is just the important bit for me. You gotta have yourself a nice place you can call home. Get I think you need, situated. honestly, in my opinion, you need a president, you need a sergeant, and you need at least two patches. And then you need to be, you know, really fucking legit if you're that goddamn small. I mean, that's very particular to be asking around, especially with these Pale Rider guys. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, uh, way back in my day, I was... Uh, national president of a much larger MC and that was our stipulations to starting a charter. You need want to start a charter you had to have at least a president, a sarge and at least two other fucking patch members or better. You know, so I, I mean if you're like that. two fucking guys, is that a club? Or is that no, just I can get behind that to be honest. That's true, that's true. I can get behind that as well. Sure. I can get behind sure. that. That the cut clubhouse uh I can respect that. Also, Clubhouse is a little shitty right now. I'm fucking hanging out at uh, the goddamn ammunition down at Cypress Flats. We ain't got shit else. Like, yeah, we have a clubhouse in the process of being uh, renovated. It's an old tattoo shop. God. Yeah, we're gonna renovate something in the flats, but as for now, I'm just hanging out in the fucking store. I so personally, me the clubhouse doesn't matter that much. It's if you're a patch, you got numbers, and you're family. I think if you got territory, yeah. you got to have a turf you call home. You know what I mean? Some mm -hmm. place you actually give a shit about. Because that's the thing. Which we're not here just to be, you know, badass bikers. We're trying to protect some shit. We're trying to protect our own, protect each other. Live our own fucking way. Mm-hmm. That's your own fucking existence from all them gangs. Yeah. Yep. So, another thing. This is my friendly token to you all in case you all need it. I know a guy who knows some really, really, really hefty detergent. Any of you figure this out? Yeah, I know a cleaner. If you need a okay. cleaner. That's one thing I did figure out, is I did Found find a, a guy named Cleaner. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a few of them. What is oh, that's one the thing. Uh, yeah, we need to figure out uh, where the fuck does Mira Park end, because me and you are kind of neighbors. <laughs> To me, I've always seen Mirror Park ending just as you go through that underpass on under that bridge. I would recognize That's it one, as, uh, as what Vespucci. No, like where Vespucci meets Mirror Park Drive or whatever. Maybe I'm lost. I thought Vespucci was like the West Side. Okay, you see where the green ends on the Dead Peril Freeway. On South Side, that's where it ends. By where San oh, cool Avenue is, or deeper than that. Come again by where? What? Yeah, San Andreas uh, Avenue, right there, yeah. is where the green ends. That's what you're okay. talking about. That's where I thought the end of the mirror park was. So yeah, I'm cool with that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. That's good for me. That's my territory. Yeah, we're south of that, so. So basically, 
Mm. And uh, you're south of that bridge, right? Alamino Freeway, I'm assuming. I mean, yeah, south of Mirror Park. And that's, uh, yeah, east side of the bridge. Pretty much where, we, uh, where we're at. I already got all of Polito, right? Yeah. I got a guy who can put together a really good fucking map. Yeah, that'd be dope. I, yeah, I, I got it. a guy who can do shit like that, too. If, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't need any of that. I doubt it'll the, be uh, needed, but the option's there if we want to make it. Oh, my uh, vice president it. made our patch and shit, so okay. he's real good at what he does. Perfect. It's like uh, every, every one of these patches on the front of my vest, they all mean shit. Been doing this shit a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice fast. Yeah, I we're proud of it. It's, uh, it's amazing how long we've been doing this shit. I'm real proud of you guys for fucking doing this oh, shit yeah. and being here. This means a lot. You know, when our ancestors were out there doing outlaw shit, being badasses, whatever the fuck it might be, you know, that lifestyle had a timeline, right? Oh, yes, it and did. And here we are eons fucking later reliving it and making it in our own way and that's badass that's right <laughs> i like all that right. we're all recognized here at this table yeah i think uh i mean if this is going to be the first fucking meeting in the first council i think if anybody's going to be recognized like lost we're worried about i think we need to vote them in i agree yeah I, I don't want to just uh I don't want to just be taking in anybody and everybody. Uh those gentlemen that I was talking to yesterday, I forgot the name of their MC or what they're trying to call themselves, but, but uh I can give you my word that from having conversations with them, they they seem level-headed. They even recognize that they're not even recognized MC until we get six members to even continue to think about it. So from my experience those guys think uh, they know a lot more than most. You know, they're not just trying to put on a cut and that cool. Mm -hmm. And with that alone, knowing that they're not recognized until we get six is uh, that's respect in my book. Mine too. That's a good start for sure. As soon as they get their shit together, we have a meeting like this and we vote on it if we bring them in. Hmm. I think, it, you know, just because you're, you know, legit or whatever, that don't mean you're fucking in this shit, you know? This is our shit. Yep. So, Kevin Hudson. Yes, sir. I have a quick question, if you don't mind me asking. Sure. Evie Quinn. What is yeah. you? Uh, to me, somebody that my wife is, is uh, friends with. But my wife understands the circumstances. So you, so you understand that she grabbed a police cruiser and put that on my turf, in my clubhouse, in my garage, mm -hmm. law sniffing around. Yep, I was the one that grabbed it back. Good man. Now, Sergeant Chris Solis from Mission Row Police <laughs> Department of Los Santos. Apparently, that was his cruiser. Had a conversation with him today. I don't like the cops. And I don't like them especially sniffing around my fucking house. So, I've already talked to my boys about this. We're not going to be doing nothing to her. She's got nothing to worry about. But we're going to thoroughly warn her. She is not allowed at our clubhouse. She is not a lot a lot around Mirror Park at all. If I so much as see her breathing around Mirror Park, she it's on fucking sight. So you can yeah. forward that to her, you know, if your wife cares about her. I would hate for the next time that I'd be seeing her is at the cemetery and Mort. Yeah, I uh after that whole ordeal and she did her time, I uh, took her to the oil field, let her know, held the gun to her head put her up against the wall and said, if I ever hear her ratting on anybody, I don't care if it's fucking Joe Schmo down the street, uh, I'm, I'm going to do it myself. So. Good. I wasn't coming at you in any way, just... It's been a real stressful day with what she caused. 
Oh no, I, I completely get it. Just to let you know, she has absolutely zero, and I mean zero, affiliation with Devil's Disciples. Okay. Zero. She's a person that my wife met a couple days ago, and my wife knows that too. And your wife would have no problem, per se, if my boys wanted to go beat her up a bit. Mm, I mean, she'd feel bad about it, but she'd get over it and she'd understand it. Okay. Just hypothetical. We're not doing so. She's just not welcome. I'll make sure she knows that the next time I see her. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's all I had to say. And that's all I gotta say, too. I think we're good. Miss Kelly? You um, are ever on your way up into Polito Bay, and you need a place to stop, hang out, before you hit the coast. Feel free to drop by. Y'all are welcome. Same here. Send welcome send here. that to your fellows and your peeps as well. Same here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope everybody got their fucking numbers outside so we can just all make sure that we're rolling in and fucking hang out more, get to know each other better, mm -hmm. get some more Hell business yeah. rolling together. Yeah, and just stay uh just uh, to let you all know, if um, I, I've been doing this for a long ass time. Some of my guys, they haven't, right? That's the, that's the truth of the whole thing, okay? If you ever see any of my patches rolling around, waltzing into one of y'all's clubhouses without either calling one of you or not giving the respect to wait at the gate or garage door whatever it may be please let me know got it S same here yep, same for me yep. no if one of my this shit's own. all about respect no yes sir mm -hmm. you don't just walk into another person's castle and claim it for yourself or do whatever the fuck <laughs> you want you ask permission you let that job bridge come down and then you come across it. exactly right ooh, 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 ooh. That is one thing you brought up as well that made me want to ask, Miss Caliber. What's up? Your warehouse. Yeah. And the people going to it. You comfortable with that? You talking about the recycling center? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, You know, we thought about it a little bit, playing with the idea of doing an entrance fee, obviously, oh. for, 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 for protection. Shit like that because the shit that you can get there is pretty goddamn valuable let's not be wrong oh i'm just saying you know if if nobody's being courteous to you know tip the bouncer at all i'd say there's nothing wrong with a few patrols waiting around on each highway that uh -huh. way there is taxation we've been weighing it and that's probably the direction we'll go and i'll be honest with you with you fellas and your groups like you won't have that worry if that makes sense. For sure. You yeah, come you in need help fucking patched. policing that shit. Let us know. Well, you come in patched, you know? It's yours. Go do your business. Go take care of your shit. There ain't no issue. There won't be. And if we know that you're in there and we're around, we'll make sure that you get in and out safe. We'll keep it easy. <laughs> does that like work? I it, sister. Hell yes, it does. We Good. appreciate that. Because that shit is important. I ain't here to take that from you. I want us to thrive. And if we can capitalize that specific location, fuck the world. All and it's right. literally right next fucking door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got one thing to add to that regarding uh, materials and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I found a little location good for uh, scrapping cars. Now... Guy seems to be real picky about what the hell he wants. Got a list, huh? You need a list? You need I a list, that. don't you? Uh-huh. Motherfucker. Yeah, I you do too. List? Yeah, it's pretty. And you get I scrap. do not have the list. You get materials back too. Ooh. I could send where? you the location if you need. Yeah, I'd highly appreciate that. I don't know where the hell the fucking list is at. Okay, remind me. Shoot me a text. I don't exactly know where it is myself, but I know one of my boys does. I'll make sure he forwards it to you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah if we can uh, gather time. this information up and share it amongst ourselves, I would highly appreciate it. I'm that totally shit, for I've got that. a few pieces hey. of some stuff, but 
Yeah, I don't know where everything goes with a lot of it, you know what I mean? I mean, that's the way I like it, you know? Out of everyone here in the city, us, we're the rule. So I'm saying, if we can work together and fucking capitalize everything, you know, do it together. But keep it to yourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Keep it for the council. Exactly. I'm totally good with that. Let's go ahead and shoot me a text now, Kev, just so that way I'll let my boy know. Actually, I'll... Let me see if he's around. I left my phone on the bar. I oh, have my phone on me. It's just on silent. Yeah, for me, it's just out of habit. When I have these conversations, my phone's off. My radio's off. Mm -hmm. I hate my damn phone. I, I think I got to get a new one. I don't know. You could turn your phone off. I'll fucking have to figure that out. Because you can't pop the battery out. You got to push the fucking button and hold it. It's awesome. And trust Good me, job. I wish I could gotcha. show these notifications for Twitter because I fucking hate it. Oh, right? <laughs> Fuck Twitter. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, that's just ride my annoying. goddamn bike. There's some weird people on there. You ever there, read that you. shit mm -hmm. like that comes through mm -hmm. and you wonder, like, how do people have lives like that? Like, what <laughs> the fuck is even happening? Like, you need a ride? What are you, fucking useless? There's modern people driving hair dryers, little uh -huh. chop cars, and <laughs> all those fucking things. hair dryers kill me, man. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Little, little moped does, bikes. <laughs> does that wrap this up, or we got more to talk about? So I can't uh, think of anything. I think we're good. All right, yeah, one last round. Anybody got anything serious to fucking bring up before we adjourn here? Because it is getting rather late. I'd say if we got every... If I'm assuming you all have your crafts tables, shit like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get them recipes, and let's get that shit war. Let's get that shit underway. Ooh, okay, okay. The one thing. Yeah, I'll say, honestly, I ain't got that shit yet. So if you want to help okay. me uh, get that shit started, I'd highly yeah, appreciate. Be happy that. to, man. Sure, sure. Be careful well, about throwing them in uh, motel rooms. <laughs> My wife and I, we had, we walked into our motel room. There was a goddamn table. In the Somebody put a right fucking hotel. Oh my god. Yeah, I just lost my uh, hotel today. Fucking supposed to be seven days, and they evicted me today, bastards. I got a, got another room, and it's a different fucking room, and all my shit's gone. Like motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't put shit in my room for that reason. I don't trust them. Yeah. Well, I had a few bottles of water, so it wasn't no big deal. Oh, that's good. It was still fucking dumb. Ooh. We are Dude, really on the precipice here of something really fundamentally mm -hmm. fucking badass. Uh, so just know uh, going forward, if uh, I'm sorry for cutting you off, go you're ahead. good. No, 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 you're good. Uh, I don't mean to do that when I do it. I just when my brain starts working, it just goes. Sometimes you just gotta say it or you lose it. <laughs> it's all <laughs> good. It. It's all good. Uh, so uh, if anything goes on in the future, whatever my business ends up being, I'm not sure. Where I'm sitting currently, so I won't put anything on the table. But but if we're in the same type of business line of work, you know, I'll respect who you're working with. And uh, I'll find a different route if I'm not already there. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, I mean, it honestly be really wrong good. With a little friendly competition. If, uh, yeah, we got some friendly competition, and then you know, if we all know who each other's customers are, you know, they don't have to know we work together, so they can all mm -hmm. go to you, each of us, trying to find better deals, and we can fucking fuck them around a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you guys get approached recently, within the last day, from some really tall white chick with purple hair? Wanting to do some kind of a motorcycle competition race shit. No, actually. Did you catch her name? Yeah. But my phone's off. I'll have to get it. Um, when we're done here. She uh <laughs> it was interesting. She's wants to make it fun and an event and wants to invite all the MCs to it. Um, she was on mm. Twitter or Twitter, whatever, earlier, just kinda begging for groups to get in touch with her so that she could talk with them. She just came out to our area up in Polito and chatted our ear off about it for a bit. Well, I got to get a damn exposure. bike before I could race a goddamn bike. Not, I told her that. I'm like, you're going to have to give us a little <laughs> while, motherfucker, because we're all scrambling right now trying to make that money. Yeah, it's fucking right. Because are fucking gold Fuck. bars. My damn oh, the cheapest fucking bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my demon. Right? Is. Like, oh. I want that uh, <laughs> chopper so bad, but goddamn 27 k I'm so oh, fucking Jesus. close to I'm just getting, getting a, a rat bike bobber. and just saying, yeah, fuck exactly it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. But I just, I can't do that. I just can't do that yet. Do not get project bikes. It's not uh -huh. worth it. So. I just want my own fucking, my own shit. <laughs> it's important. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Uh -huh. 
you yeah, the gargoyle is my it. type of bike. So my buddy, he's been he's been just fucking hammered it out. Gunner, he's been in an in an MC. He came from the Vikings before, and he's one of my past guys now. Um, I just met him yesterday. Actually. Yeah, he's a good dude, and he just got he just got his fucking his little devil bike, thirty three k. He worked his ass off for that. Funny enough, so did my treasure. Nice. She got herself the bike, and it's sitting out right there. My only complaint I told her is that it's red. <laughs> Please yeah. make it blue. <laughs> Good things, gentlemen. Good things. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. so we all good? Anybody got anything else we want to bring up? No, I think that's it. If anything comes up, we'll have the chats either one-on-one, -on -one, but... Let's make sure we got each other's numbers. If we feel that we need to have this meeting to have a chat with everybody for information or something of that sort, some issues arise. Good shit. Text it out. And I would, uh... be one-on-one, -on -one too. Just... Give us a little yeah. call. We'll come on through over here. This place, we want this place to be welcome to any one of us. I think that's mm -hmm. casual. It's right in the middle of everything. I'd, yep. I'd really love for, like, one of these meetings to happen at least, like, every two weeks or more. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll try and be yep. punctual about it. We'll see. You know, I'm just saying, like, us presidents meeting up, but, you know, we need to do this every now and again. We can't let this go too long without doing it again. Well, especially with the world moving as quick as it is. Yeah, there's too many moving parts right now. Like, yeah, shit's yeah. fucking it's crazy fucking right now. Yeah, the thing is everybody's trying to find everything and do everything instead of uh, kind of sitting in their lane. I think everything will be a lot uh, a lot better once it settles, but right now it's everything moving at once. We got all these well, motherfuckers who are too eager to start shit. We got all these motherfuckers just trying to find everything. Well, these, <laughs> these motherfuckers that hit up in front of our clubhouse in Polito, like Kira, she's one of my prospects. She just, like arrived there in a car and these two motherfuckers show up on a dirt bike and they're pointing guns so she's complying with them and then riley who's one of my patch girls like she just comes out of the clubhouse and was like what the fuck so they ended up just blasting kira putting her down on the ground they shot fucking riley in the shoulder then then fucking hopped out of there i passed this dude laying in the fucking middle of GOH, and I grabbed his ass, and I pulled him to the fucking side of the road, and this other dipshit fucking comes over on his motorcycle, and they know each other, and I had no idea what the fucking situation was back at the MC, right? And it was those motherfuckers. Jesus. So if you see a That's dude fucked. with dark hair, short dark hair, with his face painted like a fucking skull, shoot on sight. Will do. <laughs> Send yeah. me a oh, photo. Yeah. I'll send you money. I don't give a fuck. I like oh, the sound bring of that. To your doorstep, Miss Caliber. I'll club pays, the holy I'm motherfucker down. out of every bone in his body, and then watch him try to leave on his own. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you guys ever need some real help and want to pay for it, fucking, we are totally down. Let's Dead make out. some fucking money together. Yep. Here's my deal as well. I know chop shops are stupid picky, but we aren't. You got anything? Come over. We'll discuss a price. It ain't gonna be anything expensive. I most I could do was probably about five hundred most on a car. But it's always there. If you think it's nice, you think it looks nice. If it's if it's a bike, sure. I'm all for it. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, I'd, I'd, uh, we got to get a high school. We got to figure out these fucking getting these banks. Yeah. Ooh. Speaking of which banks i know some of them are pretty secure i'm in the works of helping out my uh little hacker friend she she helped me remove one of those uh what was it one of those trojans i don't know how she removed a fucking condom from my laptop but she did it somehow <laughs> but anyways let me see let me tell you her name real quick don't mind me pulling out naomi yes how do you I pay attention. Hmm. So Part of a group seems. called Calypso. Calypso? It's ran by a gentleman named Chris Denver. He called me. All right. Interesting. What is Calypso? They're an underground hack network. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So, and I'll we tell just you find the right, right people to hire. I'm going to tell you all right here, right now, with this council comes that. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, well, we got the uh, lead hacker group over here. Yep. Calypso. That's that's what I'm saying. If we can find the right people to hire, so we can go do these fucking bank jobs and shit. <laughs> I got who to call if I got myself another condom on. All kinds of shit. 
stop lights. Brute That's force and fucking bank wow. ATMs. By USB drives, all sorts of fucking legit shit. Stethoscopes. Yeah. You all have stethoscopes. No, where do you get them? Mm, so I think sometimes you can even pull them out from the ocean, but. It's I amazing what the fuck from... you can catch in the goddamn oh, ocean. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, um. Not a fucking walking stick in the ocean. I'm gonna let you all know too, and keep this to yourselves for the time being. If you need it, send one of your brass to get it, please. Um. Mm -hmm. Back behind my MC, okay, um, up in Polito, is a door, and it's a pawn door. And you can get laptops, electronic kits, smart watches, smartphones, a whole myriad of different fucking magical items. Wow. Okay. So that little, that little block that I represent up there is got quite a bit of offer. Might just go take a look at that myself and see what I could see. Good shit. Yeah, we'll be up there for sure. Good. So, so by the way, the, the laundering service in Mirror Park that we got over here, there's a special back door. Not sure if any of you know about that. Uh, some weird guy who's got some special room over there in the back. Apparently, some nice. folks that are in that that kind of business. That dude now, with the clipboard, he says the fuck yep, off. Yep, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. He's over there in Mirror Park. I don't know how it is for other money launderers, where, but... Where exactly? In Mirror Park. There's a, there's a tat shop right next to mm -hmm. a liquor store on that road. Just right around the corner. Just look for yourself a little okay, clean dude. place. Gotcha. They do laundry, right. and the back is where the magic happens. Ah, uh, yes, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Nice. There's apparently another one down in Vespucci. I haven't yet to see that one. I, I we know that the folks over with uh, Rose Street know. Okay. Yeah, there's a... Uh, uh, we were talking about the end of Mirror Park, where they buy that liquor store. There's a laundromat there, too, but you got to be uh, in with them to get to them. Yep, yep, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the one that's he's that. talking about. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I know down near uh, Grove Street, near that uh, tool uh, shop, there's one you can use right now. Mm-hmm. So, at least found that shit. All right. Okay. But yeah, that fucking crafting table shit. I need, I need help with that bullshit. <laughs> I'm sure... Uh, We're working on it on our end, so as soon as we know anything, we'll pass it around. Gotcha. Will do. Will do. Been we working hard on that shit. I think we're done here, dude. Okay. Definite pleasure to meet up here with you guys, for sure. And to have this face-to-face. Mm -hmm. -face. Really do appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I really hope this uh, relationship prospers. We all make some money. And then, you know, here in a month, we all got some badass bikes and can do a fucking ride with all of us. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be nice. Be fucking oh, yeah. sick. That would be nice. All right. I got to get back to my clubhouse and deal with some business of my own. So. Caliber. Miss Caliber. Apologies. Yeah. If you don't mind me, I'm going to go ahead, head over to my motel, go grab some painkillers, bring them onto your doorstep. Appreciate okay. that a bunch. Thanks. I need right, some contact me, information. Appreciate so, y'all. Yeah. Let yep. me give you mine real quick. You are. Okay. I got yours. Yours. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Somebody oh. gave me yours. Who was it? I think it was. It was Gunner, actually. Oh, uh, yes. Gunner, I met him and I gave him my contact info. Yeah, I think okay. I've put myself on uh, Yellow Pages once or twice just to kind of allow you guys to get it. Perfect. If need be. It is appreciated, buddy. Thank you. Uh, if you want to get mine. There you go. There you go. I got it. Thank you. All right, folks. I'll see you. All right. Yeah, I'll see you. Everybody, ya. have a great night. Let me get yours. Let me get here. mine. I off. did not get you. yours. That worked. Right, bring your ass here. Pleasure, Logan. Cool. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's she get to work, good. shall we? <laughs> Hell yeah.
it was really nice talking, but I'm fucking off. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking late. Right? I'm getting tired. Folks, I'll see you soon, alright? Everybody stay safe. Later. Oh, yeah, stay Take safe. care. Right well. I have a good one. Right safe. Are we good to, to take off and talk at the clubhouse? Because I'm going to pass oh, out yeah, any let's moment. Do it. All right. <laughs> well, later, everyone. Take care. Bye, everybody. See you later, then.